Hi everyone, this is Rakshat from GenNext and today I'm bringing you a video to differentiate authorized with non-authorized products. So GenNext is the authorized distributor for Apple, Dell and HP and also the service provider for all three. So today we're going to be discussing how you can differentiate your phone from phones which are present in the grey market and how you can know that you get authorized Apple warranty. So this is the iPhone 12 Pro Max I'm going to be showing you. Uh, so firstly, you can see the GenX sticker up in the front. Secondly, you can see the GenX hologram on the pull tab so that you know the phone is sealed and not tampered with. Thirdly, I would like to bring you MPIA sticker. So MPIA stands for the Mobile Phones Importers Association. So what MPIA does is it tries it's trying to control the grey market uh, by various means. And um, another thing is that MPIA uh, along with NTA is trying to bring an MSDS uh, mobile phone whitelisting system. So this is a system where you can your IMEI is registered with your mobile and only those mobile phones which have been imported through authorized channels can be activated by NCEL, NTC or SmartCell or whatever service provider you're using. So what this does is it um, does not let any illegal phones be imported from outside and be used in Nepal. This promotes uh, tax paid phones and buying through genuine channels. So another thing you can do to check if your phone is from the grey market or the authorized channel is to check the IMEI in GenX website. So the link to that website will be in the description and uh, you can see over here how you can uh, follow the process to check your IMEI. So all phones that are imported through authorized channels in Nepal are single SIM and any dual SIM phones do not guarantee you any official warranty or any proper means of repair. The new phones which are single SIM also now have one year of insurance which includes accidental damage, water damage and fire. So even with single SIM products you can find yourself being caught up with non-authorized products in the grey market. How you can differentiate it is by using these same stickers and checking the IMEI in the website. So please do that. Now we're going to be unboxing the phone. So as you can see, this color is looking really nice and it's one of the new color options provided by Apple for this year's for this year's phones. So as you can see in the box, there aren't many things, but uh, you still get in a SIM ejector tool, some paperwork and Apple's sticker, one Apple sticker. So another thing you get is the USB type C to lightning cable and uh, the 20 watt adapter which you can use with this is also available as Gen X. Whenever you're buying a new phone, always get a VAT bill and check three things in your VAT bill. Number one, your VAT bill should always have tax invoice written on the top of the bill. Number two, the VAT bill should have the full specs and the proper product name of the phone written. Suppose it should not only say iPhone but it should say iPhone 12 Pro Max 256 GB Pacific Blue. And number three, the VAT bill should always have the phone's serial number or IMEI number written at the bottom of the page. Any device that is non-authorized may be refurbished, reconditioned or secondhand. These phones might be used in other countries and brought into Nepal in a much lower value. These phones might seem very cheap but don't fall in the trap. Always buy genuine and authorized tax paid products. Whenever you buy a new phone, always check for these five things. Number one, your phone should always be seal packed and the GenX hologram should be over the pull tab. Number two, you should always check for all the GenX stickers. Number three, you should always check for the MPIA hologram. Number four, you should check your IMEI number in GenX website. And number five, you should always get a VAT bill during your purchase. I hope all this information was very helpful to you and whenever you make a new purchase, always make sure of all these five things. Thank you.